What's going on guys, GeoSnow right here, so in today's video we're going to discuss about a new jailbreak for the iOS 9.3.5 and this time is not from Ionic or Stefan Ezer, this time is from Saigusa and um, from Timstar. So let's get into it. Now today Saigusa and Timstar have posted some pictures on their uh, Twitter account and have been uh, actively talking about a jailbreak that they have developed on um, on their own so it has nothing to do with uh, ionic or with you know ionic's code and so on it's a completely different thing and uh, they of course posted a picture with Cydia running on iOS 9.3.5 on an iPod touch fifth generation now uh, it's useless to say that Saigusa and Teamstar are both uh, very reliable sources and are both good hackers and of course these are not fake pictures and um, apparently we're going to get a jailbreak from these guys in here. Now Teamstar is already known for um, publishing the downgrade method you know with Future Restore and um, so on. There are a lot of applications that he has created for you know downgrading and saving blobs and so on and he's been active on that project for quite a while now and now it's involved in uh, in this jailbreak for iOS 9.3.5 and is working with Saigusa as I said. Saigusa is known for Clover and many other things. He also has some uh, great write-up that I'm going to link in the description down below for those of you who are interested into uh, ARM assembly. If you want to take a look in there it's quite nice. Anyways they're working on this jailbreak and here you can see the same it's pretty much the same um, the same kind of picture with um, with a device running Cydia on iOS 9.3.5 but Timstar has an iPhone 4s and shows the, the device in action and Saigusa has a, uh, an iPod Touch 5th generation. Now we have this tweet in here posted a couple hours ago by Timstar in which he says quote tested with iPhone 4.1 which is iPhone 4s, uh, 9.3.5 and iPod uh, 5.1 which is the I iPod Touch 5th generation on 9.3.5. First beta will officially only support these two devices. So when they will release this thing and they will release this thing, uh, it's going to be a public release, they will support in the first beta the iPhone 4s and the iPod Touch 5th generation and these are basically the main devices, 32-bit um, devices on 9.3.5. There are also some iPads but uh, you know the iPads are a little bit second thought for the uh, first beta for the moment so we should not expect them in the first beta. Anyways, as I said and I cannot, um, I, I cannot stress this enough, this project that these guys are doing right now has nothing to do with the project, the side project of Ionic or Stefan Ezer, you know, with the um, um, the uh, the actual iOS kernel exploitation training plus the jailbreak. And this one is going to be a jailbreak containing Cydia, so it's pretty much uh, it's pretty much in a way better because it's going to contain Cydia itself. Now, if you're if you're asking me, both of them are great projects, even though uh, Ionic uh, Ionic's project is actually you know founded on Kickstarter, because from Ionic you're going to also get the uh, the presentation, you're, you're going to also get a training, but in this case on uh, Teamstar and Saigusa you're going to get a jailbreak that is actually containing Cydia, a thing that you're not going to get from uh, Stefan Ezer in the first place. So th it's very important to keep in mind that these projects are both, um, you know, worth uh, taking a look at and I really support both Saigusa and Teamstar and also Stefan Ezer with their projects and I really I really hope they will get to an end so that the iPhone 4S, the iPod Touch, you know, fifth generation and the iPads on 32-bit that support 9.3.5 as the latest version can get finally a jailbreak and be jailbroken forever. I mean, uh, the advantage of this jailbreak in here, probably you're going to ask me why the hell a jailbreak for 9.3.5, it hasn't been signed in over a year and a half. So. The, the reason for that is that, uh, as I said, this device is the iPod Touch 5th generation Saigusa has in here and the iPhone 4S that Teamstar has in here are not supporting the iOS 10 update. So for this devices, iOS 9.3.5 is always going to be the latest version unless Apple decides to somehow drop a security update, which is very less likely to happen. <laughs> and um, if you make a jailbreak for them, it's going to be probably the same scenario as for the iPhone 4, where 7.1.2 is the latest version and it has been jailbroken and the iPhone 4 is basically jailbroken for life. So uh, it might be the case in here as well. And I really, really love the fact that these guys in here, Timstar and Saigusa, took the time to work for these, you know, uh, almost forgotten 32-bit devices to make a jailbreak for them. Now, what you need to know is that the, um, you know, the exploit they are using, the exploit they are using is, is not completely uh, reliable for the moment. According to Timstar, it's 50% uh, 
um, reliable and it takes a couple of reboots, but it gets stable after you manage to, to use it. So uh, this is probably things they're going to work on. It's, it's not even released the first beta for the moment. So uh, yeah, we're still waiting for it, but we do know that there will be a release. We do know that these guys are legit and we do know that they're working on 9.3.5 jailbreak that is going to also contain Cydia. So that's basically it guys. Go ahead, follow them up on uh, Twitter. Their Twitter is going to be in the description down below, both for Saigusa and for Timstar. And uh, yeah, take a closer look to their project if you have a 32-bit device. I'm going to also keep you updated if they uh, release anything, but I would definitely recommend you to, uh, to stay away a little bit from the betas unless, uh, you know, Teamstar or Saigusa confirms is stable because, you know, betas and first betas usually tend to be a, a bit buggy. So take a look on that. Keep, keep in mind that fact. Do not expect it to be blazing fast and blazing compatible in the first place, in the first beta. Just give them time to make it better. So that's actually it. Till the next time, I'm Geosnow. Peace out.